Hello everyone, welcome to my basement lab. I want to show you this AI rig that I have built, uh, which has four NVIDIA 3090 GPUs um, and it has a Ryzen Threadripper processor right under this huge CPU cooler. And there is a X399 platform MSI uh, motherboard over there and uh, 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM, 1600 watts of power supply, right? And I'll talk about all of this and in detail in uh, the video when I go back to my computer upstairs, right? But I'll, I'll show you what is installed over here. So in short, we have uh, Ubuntu Server 22.04 installed. This also contains a two terabyte of um, SN770 um, M.2 NVMe drive. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna install Ubuntu, which is already set up and installed over here. Nothing else I have installed on this except for uh, plain Ubuntu server installed, right? Not even NVIDIA graphics drivers have been installed. And what I'll show you is how you can install the latest version of NVIDIA graphics drivers, uh, CUDA, NVIDIA container toolkit, how you can install Docker, how you can configure NVIDIA container toolkit to use, uh, for Docker to use uh, NVIDIA GPUs directly. Also, how you can use NVIDIA SMI tool for power limiting your GPUs to 270 watts because these GPUs can go up to 400 plus watts uh, of power consumption. And then how you can install Olama server, how you can configure Olama server to start up on every reboot, and then how you can uh, configure Olama to use GPUs, how you can configure Olama to use all four GPUs. And then finally, we will install Open Web UI to uh, access the Olama server, download a few models. The ones that are on my mind are Gemma 2 model, Gemma 2's uh, 27 billion parameter with FP16. We'll compare the performance in terms of tokens per second. We'll also install Llama 3 Grok tool uh, model that just came out. Um, and we'll install a few other models. We'll install regular Llama, three eight billion parameter model, and uh, we'll see the performance. Uh, the thing that I'm most excited about is the number of PCI lanes on the Threadripper, pla Threadripper platform. So we get 64 PCI lanes on this platform, which makes a huge difference. So before this, I was using, if you, if you guys remember, the Dell R730 server that's over there. And uh, there is a consumer grade uh, CPU and motherboard over there too. Uh, and that was an Intel CPU and it just wasn't cutting it. Intel CPUs do not have enough PCI lanes, not even one third of what this has to offer over here. So uh, I'll now go to my uh, desktop upstairs and remote login into this machine and I'll show you some uh, tricks and uh, tips for setting up the Ubuntu server uh, and we'll go from there. See you guys in a few minutes from upstairs.